I'm doing a project for on retirement for the YMCA. So to start, could you tell me your name, please? yourself currently retired? According to my financial planner, not until I'm 70. I'm now 61 and a half. I am retired and almost 25 years. I just retired about two months ago. I've been retired um, a year. It'll be two years this coming October. Yeah, I'm retired and I have been retired for six years. I've been retired, and I've been retired for 15 years. I'm still in the workforce, but I really enjoy what I do, so in that sense, I'm in a very good position. About 12 years. 12 years, that's a while. And about how long do you think it'll be before you get to retire? Probably 20 years, but I'd like it to start tomorrow. And I'd also like to explore history of retirement a little bit. Could you describe for me what retirement was like for your parents? Well, uh, they were both uh, like to stay around the house, and my dad puttered in the garage and drank beer, and my mom would read romance novels, and she'd go out to play bingo with her friends, and that was pretty much their retirement. My parents never retired. They went into a, a business to help my brother. So they never really retired from their professions. Well, my father never retired. He saw patients to within two weeks of when he died at the age of 80. My mother, who is 84, is just about to retire. So I really have no basis of comparison. My father was retired. My mother, I don't know if she retired. Maybe she did, I wasn't sure, but she stopped working. <laughs> difficult because my father had a stroke when he was young, and my mother was his caregiver. He died before he was 70, um, and uh, mother made a life after that. My mom is retired, my dad still works. She babysits my niece. They did retire, but they worked until the absolute last moment, they, and they really didn't prepare themselves to move into retirement, except financially, they did do that. But um, uh, physically and uh, you know, health-wise, they didn't do much, or every day, activity-wise, they didn't do very much. Well, my mother uh, died young, in her 50s, late 50s, so she never retired. And my dad was a sad uh, for all his life after she passed away, so we didn't have a good retirement because he was always sad thinking of her. Uh, my mother was never retired, or maybe I should say she was permanently <laughs> retired because she never worked. Uh, she had plenty of uh, work at home with her kids, and four nephews that she almost adopted because they were orphans. My mom and my dad had somewhat different experiences. My mother had a traditional retirement where she worked at a job, in her case public school teacher, and then there came a retirement date and after that she drew a pretty solid pension and has ever since. Uh, my dad had a different experience. He was an independent businessman and he kept working in his business almost at the time of his death. Think about your parents and what retirement was like for them. How is your retirement time different from theirs, would you say? 
Well, I made a concentrated effort to start preparing for retirement sometime beforehand. I knew what I wanted to do every single day, not just one plan. And so when I did retire, I just transitioned into this very easily because it already started it and it worked very well. I sort of planned for mine and decided when I retired I was going to live in a different country instead of here for a while, which I've done before, but I would like to do that again during my retirement and I won't have to work. I have my own business, so working until I'm 70 is not a sacrifice. I like what I do. I feel I perform a useful service and it's fairly well paid, but I actually am currently starting a second business which is making my hobby of genealogy into something that actually pays me. I have very good genes. I confidently expect to live well into my 90s, if not past 100. And so that's a lot of time to fill. And if some of it will be with work and some will be with other uh, hobby-oriented activities, then that would be an ideal mix as far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm hoping I'll be a little bit more active and do some hiking and bicycling and uh, some travel. Perhaps get a motor home and maybe do a little bit of adult volunteering. Uh, I retired. Uh, my husband and I, we traveled a lot. Uh, we both are golfers, so we golf all the time. So it was very enjoyable. I think in some ways it'll be a bit like my dad because I do enjoy my work so much. I'm not really planning on stopping it until I'm physically unable to perform anymore. Uh, on the other hand, I think I'll take a little bit more recreational approach than what he did with more travel involved and more selective activities. Parents and my son and my husband were both ill, so I was forced to retire to take care of them. I was a caregiver for them. I live in a retirement home in a, a small um, community in Duarte, mm -hmm. which is just uh, consists of bungalows. Uh, so I have a garden and uh, no stairs to climb, and we have activities and wonderful people. I have been enjoying my retirement. I always wanted to do lots of things that I'm able to do now. Now I quilt, I knit, I do my gardening, I take care of some days of the week of my grandkids, and we travel a lot with my husband, so we have been enjoying our retirement. I would jump, on the, jump in an RV and hit the road and not look back.